It looks like an assault rifle you'd buy in a gun store. And it fires like one, too. But here's the difference. There's no serial number, no identification needed, and no background check. And it can be built at your home. She and county officials say the maximum the trust fund will provide any local site is $2 million. So Newton County's borrowing millions more to fix its landfill. A map shows why stopping the bad guys here is so difficult. The sheriff's county stretches into a Native American reservation that straddles the Mexican border. It's off limits to local law enforcement, so smugglers can easily cross the border into Arizona. Owning a home can seem like a complicated game of obligations. Taxes, utilities, a mortgage, all need to be paid on time. If not, liens are placed on the property. 48, 49, 49. Georgia is seeing a surge of investors. Two dollars going twice, sold, minimum bid. Snatching up tax liens on homes and combining them with a second lien from an unpaid medical bill or utility to legally swipe a property in a matter of days. According to a recent study, giant sprayers like this have applied 370,000 tons of the active ingredient glyphosate in the United States, most of it in the past 10 years. It coats the Midwest and a swath of Georgia's farm belt. The amount of information is enormous. LPRs don't discriminate. They scan every license plate, even on cars going the opposite direction, recording where you are and what time it is and storing it up to two and a half years, all linked to the seven digits on the back of your car. In this case, we could have gotten a search warrant. When they saw the data, the district attorney knew he had a different kind of crime. She said she had gone to bed, and there I think like around a thousand steps after the time she went to bed before she called in uh, to the police. They charged her with filing a false report and tampering with evidence. Her Fitbit offered tangible data to prove she was busy staging the crime scene at the time she said she'd been sleeping. <laughs> These are some of the cases we uncovered. Defendants accused of aggravated assault, armed robbery, aggravated stalking, aggravated battery, terroristic threats and acts, even an alleged rape and a case of alleged child molestation. Some were released after background investigations by the court's pretrial services program, others released straight from the jail. All got out on their own signatures. When she was found, she was in full rigor. According to a lawsuit against the detention center and staff, Ms. Bryant became agitated, and instead of seeking medical or mental health assistance, the jail staff moved Ms. Bryant to a dark cell. It was there she died of diabetic ketoacidosis. He'd only lived in Georgia two months when a Taco Bell manager was gunned down in an Adel parking lot. Arrested two days later, Inman always maintained his innocence. The recall system is broken. Atlanta attorney Matt Weatherington says in the last decade, 4.5 million tires were recalled, but fewer than 1 million were recovered. Where are the rest? One word, the difference between killing yourself and your unborn baby or your husband getting away with murder. Between a thorough investigation and the freedom to kill again. One word redefines a family fighting for 24 years. It doesn't say that my daughter killed herself and killed her son. It doesn't say that anymore. Thank God for that. Privacy rights advocates worry the collection of this data, combined with cameras, threatens anonymity in public. And there's no federal laws limiting how facial scan information is used. A WSB-TV investigation with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and the Georgia News Lab found one in six jail deaths by reasons other than natural causes involve someone with mental health problems. Constance Pateau never thought twice about the push-button starter on her car until it almost killed her and her toddler. He just completely went limp in my arms. The most terrifying moment of my entire life. The busy mom was ending her workday, pulling into her garage. As I came in, I wanted the garage door to be closed when the conference call started, so I went ahead and I pushed the button to close the door. And I think in my head, I just told myself that I had pushed this button and not this one. A mistake that sent carbon monoxide flooding through their home as they got ready for bed. The largest facial recognition database in the world is, you guessed it, Facebook. It's larger than the FBI's and more accurate. 
Every time users tag a photo, they are, unwittingly, improving the accuracy of its facial recognition system. And they are linking personal information from the individual's profile with a name and a face. Records show a company bought their tax deed for $130,000 in early June 2014. The law gives homeowners 12 months to recover, but there was a problem. Her uncle had a medical lien. Another company, Trendtech, bought it and the deed from the first company, creating a super lien and bypassing the waiting period. Trendtech asked the judge to let them foreclose less than a month later. We ordered a kit which cost around 500 bucks. It came by the U.S. mail, neatly packed and ready to assemble. We followed instructions that called for hollowing out the trigger pocket of the rifle. It holds the key parts of the gun, including the firing mechanism. In less than two days, our AR-15 was ready for the range, and it's completely legal. It's tracking your every move at all hours of the day or night. Most of their pools are warm weather only. They've been open only 300 days since the government started requiring pool lifts. Each of Hagler's suits says he personally visited. That means Hagler would have had to visit a motel about every three days. A passenger's face scan is instantly compared to existing pictures in the government's database. It's said to be more authentic and more reliable than documents, even fingerprints. Pickups are done by private contractors. Some charge for recycling, others do not. But the records aren't public. What we know is what Cobb pays to administer its recycling program. In 2014, $440,000. That dropped to just $45,000 last year. Will it ever be a money maker or break even? They capture a still frame of a student's eyes. In seconds, it compares that image with the database to grant access. Finning live sharks has been outlawed in the U.S. since 2000. Fins here must be harvested on land after the fish is caught and killed at sea. Coal ash is the waste from burning coal for electricity, something Georgia Power did here for decades. It's full of toxic metals like lead, arsenic, mercury, and a bunch of other things you don't want in your water. And environmentalists are sounding the alarm over how Georgia Power plans to store millions of tons of coal ash at five North Georgia facilities. Devonya Inman has had nearly 18 years to question his faith and his belief in the justice system. Like dear saying who cares if we're wrong or right. The National Transportation Safety Board is now investigating recalls gone wrong. The information is supposed to be your own to help improve your fitness. It can also help prove how active you were before an injury. If you ever cared anything about Julie, please tell the truth.